It's all right. I just, I was telling Brother Larry, I love that song. The first time I heard him sing that song, I just sat there and tears ran down my eyes. I said, Ken, why would, why would you be crying when you know the Lord is so good? And it was just that song that was my testimony. I waited 40 years, so many wasted years, before I asked the Lord. <laughs> Thank this is radio. I'm gonna, no, I'm not okay. I'm gonna say that. I tell you, Bob Jackson makes some mighty good cookies. Go ahead, talk in. Oh Lord, help us! You know we can't have fun in fellowship. We can't do anything. I know everybody was watching. I wish this had been on TV. It will be on DVD. It will go out through the yeah, Larry, Larry, look around. Hey, look around. I'm in Bless him, Lord. Don't ever take cookies and lay them down in front of the preacher. Hey, but you're more too. I would say stolen bread is sweet. Stolen cookies. I wouldn't know you said stolen Good. <laughs> they are good. <laughs> 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 Ken, I don't think you got finished. You go ahead and continue on with your next I believe he's going to go give me another cook. <laughs> 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 he's going to get it. <laughs> Can't play the guitar too. Don't do it, Betty. Does me. Don't let you preach her. You know she got. He got one for you and one for him. I see you got one and a half. And he pointed the half to me. He's going to talk. He's not going to need a whole cookie. He can't do his mouth. Right, that's it. As I was saying, Lord bless us. Man, I'm I think I got go first or second flux. That's long. There's something about that quenching off the street. I was saying that when I hear that song, it just pains my heart. That I wasted so many years. I was so hard-headed and I ran from the Lord. And I think, Lord, what could we have done? Mm. Lord, how much better would it have been for me and my family if I would have just not run? Yeah. I ran for years. Melissa and I just got married. We've been, let's see, May the 28th. Oh, Lord, help me here, okay? This is a lot more important than that cookie. May the 28th of this year, which is just a few weeks in the future. Man, Lord, I'm that. Help me, Lord. We will be. We will have been married 29 years. And I'm. Somebody took me a cup of my after I perished. They want no cookie flu at me, so I'm still stealing good graces over all this. But I just, I thank God for such a wonderful wife. She used to beg me and try to get me to go to church, and after a while, bless her heart, she just. She quit talking to me and she started talking to the Lord. Mm. And it took years. It took it took 27 years for the Lord to get my attention one night through this radio station. Mm. Lord, this, and this is where this whole thing is going. Call Him now tonight. Yes. Church, I am living proof of the power of God's ministry through WDFB Radio. Yes, amen. November 20th, 10 o'clock at night, 2005. I was in my old truck. Going to pay a pass through water bill and it's holding that envelope and inside that envelope had a water bill that was stamped final notice. And I went to church that night to a revival that had never been planned. And before I left that night, before you get me in church, I was thinking about I gotta sit as near to the back as I can so I could get out as fast as I can. <laughs> you didn't that night. And the evangelist looked <laughs> Looked over at the preacher and he said, Preacher said, we're coming back tomorrow. He said, somebody needs the Lord. Mm -hmm. The church I have been in some wonderful services. 
I really have. I felt the Holy Spirit move through me about the congregation, but I'm telling you what, that was revival. Mm -hmm. Nobody planned anything. God just said there's work to do. Mm -hmm. And that went on for six or seven or eight nights. Everybody just being obedient to the Lord. The preacher said, would everybody come back tomorrow night? Not only did everybody come back, there was more each and every night. I had never witnessed anything like it in my life. But that first night, I can remember what that old evangelist said. He said, if you died tonight, would you go to heaven? Mm -hmm. And I knew right then and there. Church, I wasn't one of those that thought just because I was a good person, I was going to heaven. And by the way, that's a lie. You, mm -hmm. can't, you can't be good enough to go on your own on your own pay and your own merit. I knew who God was and I knew who Jesus was and I knew the work I had to do to get there. And that night as I went to pay that water bill, as I left the house, I ain't gone 200 yards. I could, I could feel something. And it was the scariest thing I'd ever felt in my life. Oh, I could feel that cold fear just going up inside my body. By the time I got to let me know, I knew without a doubt I was going to die that night. And I knew if I died that night, I knew where I would spend eternity, and that was in hell. There was no chance to make it to heaven had I died then. Church is saying there's no way. You might be out there listening right now. Kim, there's no way that you could have known you were going to die that night. I can tell you, as sure as I'm sitting in this radio station talking to you tonight, that I knew without a doubt I was not going to make it home that Ken Kruger was going to die that night. I got out of that old truck and I threw the envelope through the door up there at Parksville Water and I don't know where it went and I don't really care where it went. I asked Sister Kay, did you ever get that check? She said, yeah. I said, you don't have cameras out there, do you? She said, yeah, we do. I said, man, you better watch them. You talk about somebody running from Satan and running from the Lord and trying to run to the Lord at the same time. It was awful. I got back in that old truck and it was raining a little bit and boy, I was going down the road and I didn't, I didn't need a car came or gone. Mm -hmm. I just stopped right in the middle of the road. Couldn't drive. Eyes full of tears. And I said, Lord, I can't do this anymore. Not on my own. Lord, I don't want to go to hell. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know what to do. So I turned the radio on and pushed a button way down over on the other end that I used to keep stowed away when I would listen to when nobody was in the truck with me. Tell everybody I'd get a hankering for an all fly away or in the sweet by and by. Mm -hmm. And boy, I'd turn that on, Miss Mildred. I would turn that, that radio on and if those songs, those old hymns of Zion were playing, it reminded me of, a, of as a, a little boy growing up on a grandparent's back porch. Why didn't play the guitar and just twanging along while they sang them old hymns. It just filled my heart with joy. And I didn't know why. If I would turn the radio on and there was preaching, I'd turn that off right real quick. Didn't want to hear none of that. Didn't want to hear what what's had been paid for for me and yes. what I needed to do. Didn't have any idea where that radio station was. I thought it was Lexington or Louisville or Bowling Green. I just knew they played those good old hymns I love to hear about that old time religion. Mm -hmm. mm, I turned it on that night. And there was a song come on the radio station and it was how beautiful heaven must be. Mm -hmm. And all I can remember just thinking, yeah, I know it's going to be beautiful, but I'm not going to see it. Lord, I don't know what to do. I have no idea how to get to heaven. I know I'm going to die tonight without a doubt. And I'm hearing you tell me through this radio station that I'm going to miss the most beautiful creation that's ever been known to man. I said, Lord, I don't know what to do. And when that song went off, the very next song that came on, now mind you, I'm still sitting in a truck in the middle of the road with the windshield wipers on and tears running down my face. I said, Lord, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to pray. And the very next song come on was the Rochester, Rochester scene. You made it to to pray. So I kneeled at the altar of my heart right then and there and I said, Lord, I'm a sinner. Mm -hmm. I'm a dirty, nasty old sinner. And Father, I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to come into my life and forgive me and wash me clean. When I went home and talked the steps, Melissa knew 
it wasn't the same person that left to pay the water bill. Yes. Church, the old man died. Yes. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17 says, If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Brand new. Created new in Christ. Yes. Old things passed away. All things are going to be again. So I died that night. Praise was reborn through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And it was all because somebody reached down and picked the telephone up and said, I'm going to pledge a couple dollars to WDFV radio station. Because the radio station I was listening to is this radio station right here. It's five miles from my house and I didn't know it was here. Five miles. What's even better than that, the next night when I went to church to the revival service and stood up in front of the church and announced that I had accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, this wonderful, beautiful lady stood up and she said, Brother Ken, I just want to tell you, my husband and I own that radio station you were listening to. Her and Brother Don were in the congregation. And as I could feel the chills, I know now what they are, the cold glory bumps. As long as I could feel the glory bumps start forming up my back, I thought, hmm, this is good, I like this. And she said, you were listening to a radio show that was taped by the preacher of the church you're attending right now for this revival has been in my And he put those songs on there two weeks ago. And it wasn't by chance that he put that song right after that song. It happened. The Lord moved and said, that's where I wanted because two weeks from now, I'm working on King Critter's heart. And I said, I'm going to tell him how he's doing this. That's how God works. If you're listening tonight, I don't care if it's through the internet, I don't care if it's through the radio, if you're listening tonight, it's not by accident. If you're not born again, if you're not saved in the blood of Jesus Christ, church, I can tell you right now, sin a person, this is no mistake. It's all for you. Just like that year, so many, or that night, so many years ago, when God said, This night is just for Brother Kim. We're going to talk to him. We're going to, we're going to convict his heart. We're going to let him know for his need for a Savior. Because without it, he's going to die and go to hell. It don't matter how good you are. It don't, it don't matter how long you've gone to church. If you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, you're not going to make it to heaven. That's the ministry of WDFB Radio. It is to broadcast that message. It is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. I beg you. I urge you. If it's one dollar. If it's five dollars. If it's ten dollars. What is the soul worth? You say, but I can't witness. I can't do anything. You can support the ministry of this radio station. The Lord worked through this radio station. Some couple of years after that, my son was here. I'm not going to tell his story. I'll let him tell it. But he was saved here at this radio station. This radio station has affected my whole family. Not just the four of us that live here in Volcana, but my parents, my mom and dad, some of their brothers and their sisters. The Lord has touched so many lives through WDFB radio stations. There are saints in heaven this day. I think of Brother John Hood. Oh, I think of Brother John. He was saved through this radio station. So many souls. We won't know the amount until we walk through the gates of heaven. And I thank God for the burden He put on Brother Don and Sister Mildred so many years ago. So many years ago. I thank God that He He caused it so that I would move in this area. So close to this little radio station that was that was singing the praises of God through Christ Jesus. Church, nothing ever happens by just chance. Nothing is a coincidence. It's just God remaining in on us till He wants you to know the truth. And I thank you for it. I heard you again. Please, call and support this radio station. If you, if you live close and, and you can't support it financially, there's so much to be done out here. There are, are so many jobs. You wouldn't believe what goes on behind the scenes here at this ministry. There's so much work to be done. And I know that the staff here would appreciate it so much for anything that you can do. Anything you can do. Just give them a call. The number is 859-236-9332 and 859-236-9333. You can listen to us live on the internet at wdfb.com. Just click on the little microphone button and just listen and turn the radio on. I wish I had words to that one tonight. 